Welcome to Urology Specials of Atlanta and St. Joseph's Hospital Prostate Cancer Center. My name is Dr. Longani. And I'm Dr. Shaw. What you're about to see is a brief introduction to prostate cancer and treatment using a robotic surgical system. Many patients have questions about their treatment. We're happy to answer them in this video, which are the most frequently asked questions by patients. If you have additional questions, we'd be more than happy to answer them on a one-on-one -on -one consultation. Let's start by talking about who we are and why coming to St. Joseph's Hospital for your robotic surgery and care is the smart decision. Both Dr. Shaw and Longani are fellowship-trained robotic surgeons with specialties in minimally invasive surgery and robotics. Each completed their residencies and fellowship training at Henry Ford Hospital in Detroit, the birthplace of the robotic prostatectomy. Combined, their robotic experience spans more than 3,000 cases. So now that you know your surgeons, why should you choose robotic surgery to treat your cancer? Robotic surgery has a lot of benefits, namely quicker recovery time, an easier time with the surgery itself, less blood loss. Often patients will suffer less than a quarter of a Dixie cup of blood loss. In addition, patients will be able to spend time with their families, walk around the wards, be home sooner, and get back to work and the things that they enjoy in life much quicker. One of the most common questions with a prostatectomy is, will I be incontinent? Continence after robotic prostate surgery is excellent. Uh, approximately 90 to 95 percent of our guys are dry within about 2 to 12 weeks after surgery, and that includes 1 to 0 pad use. Um, things that can affect continence after prostate surgery include following the recommended Kegel exercises in the preoperative uh, as well as postoperative period, your age, and your overall urinary health pattern before surgery. Another common question is, will I have erectile dysfunction? Erectile function in a normal male is highly dependent on a complex interplay of associations in a man's pelvis that deals with blood flow, nerves, receptors, and all of those things work together in order for a man to experience normal erectile function. When a man has an operation in his pelvis, typically for a prostatectomy, it challenges those functions and that interplay between all of those things that I just mentioned. Erections, which happen because of blood flow, slow down, much like traffic going on on a highway, our blood flow is traffic in our pelvis. Here in Atlanta, on the I-85 at 5 o'clock during rush hour, there's congestion and there's difficulty in maneuvering that traffic through the city. Well, we have difficulty maneuvering our blood flow through an operation or a site of trauma, which happens during surgery. Now, robotic surgery minimizes trauma and therefore men have a quicker time to recovery for their erectile function. If we take a man's age, his preoperative function, and he's able to have a preservation uh, of nerves and blood flow during the operation, which happens often with robotic surgery, our men experience great success after robotic surgery. And what about scars? One of the advantages of a minimally invasive robotic surgery are smaller incisions when compared to more traditional open surgery. Smaller incisions translate into quicker healing, quicker recovery time, decreased pain, and decreased complications. You will have approximately five to six small incisions across your abdomen. Another common question is, will robotic surgery allow me to keep the nerves intact? One of the issues with robotic surgery and prostate surgery is the ability to preserve nerves and functions in a male. With robotic surgery, we can use the attributes of the robotic system, namely 3D high magnification, as well as microscopic instruments that allow us to carefully tease away important structures that allow a man to regain his function after surgery. Because of our experience and our fellowship trained surgeons here at St. Joseph's, we're able to perform nerve sparing operations that can't typically be done at other centers or during open radical prostatectomy. Finally, how long will I be in St. Joseph's? 98% of patients who undergo robotic prostate surgery only require an overnight hospital stay. And most patients find little or no pain after their procedure. The team at St. Joseph's Hospital is one of the leaders in the Southeast when it comes to caring for patients who have undergone robotic surgery and are here to answer any and all of your questions prior to your discharge. I hope we've answered all of your questions. If not, we'd be happy to talk to you about this more with a one-on-one -on -one consultation. You've chosen one of the most experienced robotic teams in the country. We're pleased to handle your care. Thank you for watching.